The emergence of XR devices and the 3D metaverse today can match and even exceed the respective societal impacts of the smartphone and 2D internet years back. The higher education metaverse is about creating immersive learning experiences. Soon, students will be attending the metaversity. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. A trip that is enabled by 5G networks is novel metaverse applications and a shift in consumer behavior. Experts say metaverse is a hype created by the tech giants including Facebook, Google, Microsoft and Apple. The way that companies like Google and Facebook exploit people's data should at least raise some questions about whether that's going to go smoothly. The metaverse requires a powerful, fast network and here is where 5G comes relevant for higher education institutions. Powerful 5G network technology with its late low latency and multi-access edge computing or MEC will play a paramount role in the efficiency of the Metaverse experience. Metaversity is an immersive virtual reality platform where remote faculty and students don VR headsets and meet synchronously as they would on a physical campus. In some cases, the virtual campus is a digital replica of the institution in which they are enrolled. Metaversity proponents say that VR boosts student engagement, achievement and satisfaction. But some scholars are concerned that the private companies that license the technology may prioritize their bottom lines over academic freedom, exploit students' data or reproduce possibly biased narratives in an immersive format that becomes students' go-to representation of events. The Metaversity is a university immersive environment which combines VR and AR technologies, a digital twin of a physical campus, and where students and faculty can interact with each other via their digital twin, a digital representation of themselves. The Metaversity vision will enable universities to scale and teach billions globally, offering all the regular benefits but at a fraction of the price. The Metaverse also removes spatial barriers. No matter where you are as a learner, you can step into immersive worlds for any learning purpose. Often, these have spatial persistence, that is learners and teachers from around the world can manipulate and walk around the same set of objects. And when they come back the next day, that content is still in place. That works both for VR and AR enabled metaverses. Going forward, there will be a high demand for transformational leaders. It is in today's higher education institutions' hands to prepare such leaders using the latest education technology and that means to embrace new technologies such as the metaverse and to move the physical campus to metaversity. Now let us look into today's headlines in VAR India. India's DMAT accounts cross 100 million mark. The country's DMAT accounts topped the 100 million mark for the first time in August. According to data released by National Securities Depository Limited and Central Depository Services, over 2.2 million new accounts were opened last month, taking the cumulative figure to 100.5 million. The growth is accredited to the sharp rise in the market, greater lean hours due to the lockdown and mobility restrictions, shift to the work-from-home setup, ease of account opening, increasing mobile and data penetration, and a decline in brokerage rates. 1MG enters Unicorn Club after raising $41 million. Online pharmacy 1MG has entered the Unicorn Club after an internal funding round led by Tata Digital. The company raised $41 million, valuing it at $1.25 billion. Tata Digital had acquired 1MG at a valuation of around $450 million in June last year. Tata Digital owns a little over 62% in the e-pharmacy. This is the third unicorn under the Tata's e-commerce venture after e-grocer Big Basket and Mukesh Bansal's cult fit. ED arrests former NAC chief in money laundering case. The Enforcement Directorate has arrested Ravi Narayan, the former chief executive officer and managing director of the National Stock Exchange of India, in the co-location case involving the bourse. The anti-money laundering agency had registered a case against him along with ex-NEC chief Chitra Ramakrishna and former Mumbai Police Commissioner Sanjay Pandey under criminal sections of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. The co-location scam refers to the case in which then NEC brass are accused of providing a bunch of high-frequency traders unfair access to speed up algorithmic trading. DND 2.0 app removed from Apple App Store the spam reporting app developed by the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, DND 2.0, has been removed from Apple's App Store. 
It is unclear whether the app was removed by Apple or by TRAI. In April, Apple had announced that apps that don't receive an update in three years would be removed from the App Store. Until 2016, the only way to report spam was to manually send an SMS with the text of the message along with the name or number of the sender to a TRAI designated short code. To ease the process, it launched the DND app. At that time, the app would automatically fetch a user's entire SMS inbox and call logs and generate and send the reporting SMS. Brazil government orders Apple to stop selling iPhones without charger. Brazil's government ordered Apple INC to stop selling iPhones without a battery charger in the country, claiming that the company provides an incomplete product to consumers. The Justice Ministry fined Apple with $2.38 million and ordered the cancellation of the sale of the iPhone 12 and newer models, in addition to suspending the sale of any iPhone model that does not come with a power charger. The authorities rejected Apple's argument that the practice had the purpose of reducing carbon emissions, saying that there is no evidence of environmental protection from selling the smartphone without a charger. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India News Magazine. You can download the Bar India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.